Okay, so here is my profile as it was. I've got Bladestorm. That was one of the first games I ever played. Um, yeah, not that impressed with Bladestorm. Uh, I think I spent about 15 minutes in game, maybe top. Same thing with Paintball 2009. Crash time was actually a pretty nice idea, but not as nice a game. So I got those achievements. So I did play pure a bit. Got eight achievements in it. That was one that I enjoyed playing just like on my bed, legs over the edge and stuff like that. So that was a nice little ATV game. Ah, the arcade package, yeah, um, not that good at Pac-Man, really. And apparently I know how to emit sparks in Pac-Man, I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Hexic was an interesting game. Uno, yeah, I tried to grind this game, and didn't end up getting all the achievements. Um, I like the tornado vector. Yeah, no, those are not things I'm going to be doing. Uh, Frogger was an interesting game. Frogger's a good old game to have cheat engine on. <laughs> Creed 2. Now, I played the dicks out of this game. Like, there aren't any left in it. I mean, I've still got six left in me, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. So I completed all of the DNA sequences. Ah, yes, I remember doing the sand one. That was messed up, jumping on an NPC. And of course I did have DLC for this game. <laughs> Defend a woman's honor. And yes, my brain does work that slow. I see things and then I comment on them later. Let's slide on over here. Be reborn! Wait, I don't have those achievements? Oh, I might have to get some achievements before I get rid of the Xbox. If I do, I will amend them to this folder later. Go back. Dead Rising 2. I played a little bit of it. Ah, I made a weapon. That was probably literally it. Saints Row 2. My introduction to open world gaming. Not to be confused with my best introduction to open world gaming, which would be Fallout 3. But, yeah. Septic Avenger. <laughs> That's a fun game, isn't it? Fight Club was, I think, probably one of my least favorite things in that game. I liked the Demolition Derbies, those were fun. Seen it, yeah, I remember playing Seen It. Played a good bit of Seen It. Um, wasn't very good at it, like, at all. But, I, I did play a little bit of it. Ah, at World's End. That was a very big disappointment. And apparently I escaped a prison fortress. That's... I didn't even pass the first level, but alright. Because <laughs> I didn't know how to play it. it it's a backwards feeling game. Call of Duty 4, the original Modern Warfare. Ah, Save the Farmer was a horrible achievement to get. I disliked that achievement. Like, the amount of disliking by eye was horrible. I think this is where I started playing things on the hardest difficulty first. Yeah, I think that might be where I started just playing on the hardest difficulty first, and then doing the fun play later. There's something about being 
back against the wall and just start shooting for red and for blue and for blow, I guess. That's Justin Timberlake, if you... Castlevania, that came with the arcade game pack thing. I'm not a big Castlevania fan, at least not that one. Maybe there's a better one. I don't know. Ah, yeah. Now, it's the problem with Lego Batman was it wasn't particularly, like, amazing. Cabela's. I'm a big wee Cabela's fan, so... There's the problem with that one, really. But, yeah, I like my Wii version. Cabela's, I think, Big Game Hunter 2003 or something. COD Classic. Yeah, I didn't do much in that. Halo 3, though. This was, like, my first Halo game. He's changing it up. He's changing it up. Why do I only have this many achievements? I swear I got more. Oh no. Brotherhood. The only things I'm missing should be probably the um multiplayer on this one. Oh man, finding those Harlequins was horrible. <laughs> Even with guides and stuff, I still had trouble finding them, because they wouldn't show up. Kill a guard with a broom, yeah, that was fun. Um, I liked burning the towers. It always did a fun little animation thing. Don't know what the naval cannon is. Oh, apparently I did get a multiplayer achievement of some sort. I accessed my email. One question. Oh, I thought it said without one kill. I'd be like, there's my AFK achievement. <laughs> um, Fable 2. Yeah, I played a little bit of Fable 2. I played as a gunner. So, loved my gun. didn't really use my dog much. You're supposed to use your dog in that game? I would assume. Oh yeah, and I got married to some girl. Ghost Recon, I was so excited about this game. It turned out to be a bit of a disappointment, but, you know, it's alright, really. It was still pretty nice having the connect capability on the um, gun range. Just wish it had more capability in the actual game. Ah, Final Fantasy XIII. I spent too much time in this game. I, my lack of achievements doesn't exactly show that, but I literally ran in circles just repeatedly killing thing-related things. Toy Soldiers. I liked Toy Soldiers. It was a good one. I, I couldn't get very far. I replayed the same levels over and over again. But it was fun. Sneak King. I got this game for 88 cents. <laughs> it's a Burger King game. Madden NFL. Well, that pretty much describes my Madden NFL gameplay. Actually, I spent a lot of time in that game to get those two achievements. Fear 2. I think was Fear 2 my introduction to Fear? Yeah, Fear 2 was my introduction to Fear. Great game, I only because it's the first one I played that actually gave you, like, the ability to slow down time in-game. I've probably had bullet time in games before, but I hadn't thought about it, really. So yeah, I got my Xbox when I was um, just going into ninth grade, I think. And that shows about how old I was when I first started playing serious games outside of the Wii. Um, it's the original Saints Row, yeah. Not that impressive once you've had Saints Row 2 and 3. Specifically 2. 2 is more fun. 
Um, boom, boom, rocket. Oh, that's the one with fireworks. Yeah, not, not, not impressed with that. I, I suck at rhythm gaming. Feeding frenzy. I prefer it with like a keyboard or a mouse. Luxor. I actually have Luxor 2 on my iPod, so that's the thing. My iPod's dying though. At the current moment, it might not be later. So that's the thing. Ah, the orange box. I'm one of those people who's like, yeah, I liked Portal a lot. It was really good, but it wasn't like stunning. I like the turrets. They're cute. Super contra. Yeah, I didn't do anything that. Rise of nightmares. Oh crap! It's all gone wrong. Let's just stop shaking. Onwards we go. There were a lot of sort of grindy challenges to get achievements in this game. Especially since you have to use your arms and stuff. I was getting all tired out doing the No Mercy difficulty. I think that's the hardest one. Dodge gestures. <laughs> Thank you, the original Connect. The new one's supposed to be really good. Well, unless it's not and I've just misheard. Kicked open a door. Did that repeatedly, so can I just... There we go. I love kicking open doors with the Connect. Not many games I've played let me do that, but it's, it's, it's nice when they do. Secret Service. This was another one of my first games because it was rated T and not M, and my parents let me buy it. So, POTUS difficulty setting. Damn, was this game floaty. That was friggin' not a... They, they needed Call of Duty to help. It was literally the same thing as Call of Duty, but like with freaking floatiness. I don't even know how to describe it past floaty. Um, also there were the weird hacky things and shooting of fire extinguishers. Yeah, lasers that blow you up. That was annoying. Ah, yeah, that I was really good at that one. I got that one without even trying. Mostly because of the game mechanics, and I'm actually being truthful this time. Sniper Ghost Warrior. Now this was I hit it again. This was not a good game. I bought the second one expecting it to be just as linear, just as bad. So I got the steel case edition or whatever, so that I could remember just how bad it was. It's freaking amazing. But that's just my opinion, so don't trust me. Mars Rover Landing, the free game I needed to test my connect. It was interesting, to say the least. Midnight Club Los Angeles. I spent a lot of time in this game. That was annoying to get. I remember actually trying to get that achievement. I'm like, I want to be neither bird nor plane. I only played offline, so that pretty much states that. Uh, yeah, I played a lot with the motorcycle, actually. And I didn't use aggro as much as I used EMP. No, zone. Zone is the one over there. Yeah, I use this one a lot, because it slows down everyone around you and stuff. And you can just sort of, like, get in the zone, I guess. Sort of weave between things. Um, yeah, and that's not a hard achievement to earn. Especially not if you spend half your time with the car upside down. I was running so fast in that game a lot of the time that actually the world wouldn't render. I spent so much time in the actual, like, on the beach and in the ravine thing. It was awesome. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Got this because a friend had it. And I trusted his opinion. He, he was right. Battlefield's an alright series. It's just not Call of Duty. It's not my thing. It's not the close quarters sort of cheater thing that I like. So yeah, I demolished stuff. There was a frozen-y area that I really, really liked, because it was frozen -y. and that was a thing that happened. I don't know, I liked the frozen -y area. Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, I was not as impressed as everyone else about Black Ops. This was one I waited for a midnight release. I was like, yes, I'm getting Black Ops on midnight. Played it the first time, I was like, this is amazing! Because I only got to play the online. I'm like, this is amazing, it's an amazing game! 
And the only good thing about it, after I'd played it a little, I found that I liked the, um, the, the fact that the Python in single player would just shred your enemy's arms clean off. And that was really the only good thing about that one, that and the RC car, because I remember getting the RC car and that's why I was excited, I was like, yes! <laughs> but really, yeah, that's, that's Black Ops, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, breaking out of the torture chair, that wasn't particularly, like, stunning and amazing and all that stuff. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of badass, I got a headshot. ODST, oh my gosh. This was what rebuilt Halo for me. Now, I mentioned that I really liked 3, but that was after I went back and I replayed it. Because I hated Halo, because I got lost in, like, level 2 of Halo 3 in some forest or something. So I was like, oh, this game doesn't even give you directions. Screw this. But then I went back, and apparently I'd gotten turned around at some point. I just restarted from the hardest difficulty, and... Oh my gosh, Halo on hard difficulties. I like it. I don't know why. There's something about some sort of adrenaline rush or something. So, yeah, that's pretty much me, really. I don't know. I'm big Halo fan. I haven't... I haven't played um, Halo 5 or whatever yet though, so that's kind of sad, because I'm not getting an Xbox One. Kind of disappointing. But you know, maybe they'll release it on the PC, that's a lie. Never gonna release it on the PC. Darn it, I need to find a way to play that game. Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, Hell's Highway, that's a fun game, that is. It's not particularly... Something I would understand, though, because I don't know what this game is. Even after all the time I put into it, there was something about just one-shotting everyone. <laughs> it's like, I got a sniper rifle, you're dead now. Halo Combat Evolved. Went and got that after thing-related things happened. And it wasn't half bad, really. I mean, it's not something I would choose if I were a game developer. At least to reboot Fear. Yeah, not as impressed with this one as with the other ones. But I do have Fear 3 on the PC. Works great if you run it at half speed at Cheat Engine, because them slowdowns are just really, really slow. Bioshock the original. I believe I just did a hard run on this one. Yeah, I think I did just do a hard run on this one. Um, don't know if I finished the hard run though. Did I? I don't know. I'm not seeing an achievement for finishing a hard run. Huh. Call of Duty 3. Okay, I played this extensively on the Wii. So if the Wii had achievements, all these achievements, I would probably have, like, almost all of them, except for specific ones that want you to do specific things. Because, yeah, that was my introduction to first-person shooters. Call of Duty 3 on the Wii. Something about pointing a gun at the screen and going, DIE. It was awesome. World at War. Got this for zombies. Um... Turns out, like Black Ops Zombies more. Oh, I've never played Black Ops 2 either. So, it looks like the kind of shooter I couldn't get behind. I like Modern Warfare 2, so I'm not really a COD nerd. I'm just a Modern Warfare 2 lover. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, yeah, not so much. No, not even slightly so much on Modern Warfare 3. But I did get some achievements, apparently, so... That's, um, that's the thing. Bag and drags. Stuff like that. Mind the Gap, Evil of Revolution, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I agree that Modern Warfare 3 was a step backwards. Like, without a doubt. Did I just go over a rank? I don't know. Perhaps I should just follow the same movements the whole time. 
um, Assassin's Creed Revelations, that was, um, actually surprisingly alright. Not even gonna lie. Revelations was not bad. As always, it's got too many multiplayer achievements for my tastes, but I think in Revelations I got all of the single player achievements, if I remember rightly. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, I was like, it's so hard to kill three guards. And then I looked it up and I'm like, it's so easy to kill three guards. Now I feel dumb. Oh, poisoning all of them at the same time. I liked that. Parachuting into a zipline did not like that. Hag, yeah, that took me like three tries, actually. Um. I had all my trainees at Assassin, like, and then I was like, well, what do I do now? Because I've still got, like, half a game to go. I had them all at Master Assassin or whatever. Whatever the top tier is. Halo Reach! Reach was, um, something truly stunning and amazing to behold. Um, I wouldn't say it was as good as ODST, even slightly. ODST is overall my favorite Halo. I, I didn't particularly... I, it's an interesting feeling when I think about Halo ODST. I don't know how to describe it, really. Because, like, I liked it a lot, but I friggin' hated it. I don't... yeah, there's no way to describe ODST. Madness Returns. Okay, now, this says 49 out of 50 achievements unlocked. I unlocked all 50. It is a known glitch. Look it up. Um, when we get to that achievement, you'll see why that one isn't unlocked. But this was an amazing game. Replayability is like zero. But I still bought the, um, like, dollar dress pack or something. Where she had that really, um, super awesome chest dress thing. Yeah, and that gave her, like, extra health or something like that. I don't remember what it was. But it, like, gave her the ability to just killerize everything awesome. And I really liked the story in this one. And the good thing about this game is it came with a code for, um... The original American McGee's Alice. I powered through that one really fast, but still, the indisputable fact, this is one of the best games ever. Now, the achievement that I did not get is secret. Okay, well, it's, um, you get this weapon called the Nightmare, which is, uh, it's one of those horse head on a stick things that kids are supposed to put between their legs and jump and pretend they're riding a horse and stuff. Oh, that sounded naughty, but, um, yeah, it's one of those things, except she spins and she flops it down on enemies, and it's supposed to be, like, kill seven enemies, I think, with one hit from that, but you can do an area of effect thing with it, and so, like, I did that, like, three times. Three times I could guarantee that I hit them all, and I'm pretty sure, I think it was ten times at least that I was pretty sure I did it, but I couldn't guarantee that there were seven in front of me, or that all seven had died. Home Front. This is one of the best written first-person shooters ever. There's this point, um, my favorite point in a shooter ever, where, um, the guy, uh, Connor Morgan, Connor fucking Morgan, where he's, like, attacking the norks and stuff and he's like uh he shoots some barrels or something you shoot some barrels you the main character shoot some barrels blow stuff up and then uh the next thing that happens is he's like i thought i smelled korean barbecue and then the girl's just like jesus connor also i picked up newspapers apparently that's fun Oh yeah, I didn't kill any of the enemies. Um, they say, let those bastards burn if you do that. 
uh, Just Dance. Uh, actually, I played extensively in the trial version of Just Dance. Then I picked it up and didn't touch it, I don't think. <laughs> I think I put it in like twice. Played maybe 20 minutes of it. Halo Wars. Yeah, that was definitely a step back. We're not even talking about that next one. Minecraft for the Xbox. Actually, I think this is the number of achievements I've got in the actual Minecraft. This is after the 1.7.2 update, where they added achievements and stuff. Unless I'm wrong on the update number that they added achievements. So, yeah. That was a thing. Halo 4. Now, Halo 4 was interesting, because I don't have the, oh my gosh, I get to be Master Chief again feeling that everyone else was getting because I had just gotten back into Halo 3 again. So I had been playing as an ODST or whatever, and it wasn't that impressive to me to play as Master Chief. But still, it was pretty nice, just topping off some dudes and stuff. They added big scary tank thing. I liked the big scary tank thing a lot. The original Assassin's Creed, yeah. Um... Not even nearly as good as the other ones, if you've played the other ones before this one. This is probably amazing for its time. But that's for its time. Assassin's Creed 3. Okay, you see all these achievements here? Yeah, we're not going to talk about these. Okay, I'm just going to scan through these really quickly. Yeah, no. We're not even talking about these. Nope, not happening. Goodbye, next game. And I say actual game. Saints Row the Third. There we go, that's more like it. Now, I probably have something to say about some of these. <laughs> um, yeah, equal quality. Uh, maybe I don't. Dude, the penetrator. Slapstick. Get it? Get it? Maybe I don't have anything to say about this. The thing about... <laughs> I love that button. The thing about, um, and I use love very loosely, by the way. I don't use love, usually. But, um, the thing about Saints Row 3 is they went for just out there as they could. Um because they figured that's where Saints Row 2 succeeded, was it was just so out there. And I think they may have overdone it, especially with the teats I've seen on screen. What am I looking at? The hobo, and now uh, that's dumb. Lollipop Chainsaw Terra Strong for the win. And by that I mean I, I can't remember the last thing I saw Terra Strong in outside of FIM. So, literally, all I know her as is Omi and this girl. Um, and we're gonna swing back up to this row in just a second, because I realized I do have something to say. There is a reason that guy's, um, head is my Facebook wallpaper. <laughs> he just looks so cool. Like, the coolness of him, his head, his hair is just too cool. Hate that girl. Did not like the girl with the thing in the air. Yeah. And apparently I did not get all the achievements in this game. Were these added later? No, they weren't. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, because they're collectibles. and Replayability is also low on that one. Oh, I, I went through this, like, just as I was getting out of um, Xbox and into PC gaming. I went back into this and did um, some hardcore Let's Playing in it. So, yeah. And this game, I don't know, I, I really liked it because of the time period it occurs, and I can't really... I didn't like the brakes on the cars. There we go. I didn't like the brakes on the cars and the turning on the cars, but I liked the cars and their acceleration. I liked the sort of speed they took. Yeah. But for some reason, I didn't like the turning and the brakes. But Mafia 2, definitely a good game. Not sure about Mafia. Modern Warfare 2. 48 out of 50. Let's see what I don't have unlocked on this. Because I grinded this game so hard. 
because it was one of my favorite. The only thing I had left to do was Spec Ops. I prestiged once, and then I was like, wait, you're going to take all of my stuff? Why would I prestige? So, yeah, I was misled by this whole prestiging thing. I thought it was useful of some sort. It wasn't. Um, I think the thing holding me back might be Spec Ops, yeah. Because I don't think I completed one of, like, the la I think I have two left that I didn't complete on, like, the hardest difficulty. I was like, I can't do this. And I was, like, ready to, like, cut my throat open. Let's see. Um, run the pit and finish with the time. Oh, I could probably do that. Yeah, see, the thing holding me back was the um, juggernauts on the oil rig. Uh, but I could probably do that. So I'll look into that, and I will... See if I can do that. Fallout 3. Here was my introduction. My real introduction to open world games. And keep in mind, all of these achievements were gotten in one playthrough. So, like... Now I've got it on my PC, and I can play it however I want. It's awesome. Actually, I think I may have done um, one character just to get the negative karma if I did get that achievement, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, by the way, my favorite Fallout 3 related thing. Um, there's this one perk that gets you um, all of your AP back if you kill someone in slow motion mode or whatever, in sats. Uh, that's stable tech, isn't it? Um, in VATS, there we go. If you kill someone in VATS, um, you get to keep going. That is my favorite thing. And on my wall, I have the poster that came with this. By the way, I have two copies of Fallout 3 for the Xbox. Because I had the normal copy, and then I had um, the Game of the Year edition, which I got because it was cheaper than getting all of the DLC separate. So I've got two copies of it now. So I've got the one on my gamer shelf. Um, but yeah. That, uh... Crap, I wish I remember what that perk was called. I swear I usually do remember it when I think of it. But it's on my poster. And I'm, like, all excited about it. Skyrim! I, I had that Skyrim run. Everybody has that Skyrim run when they play Skyrim. You have that run where you're just like, nothing in the world matters but Skyrim. And yes, I pronounce it Skyrim and not Skyrim, because it's Skyrim. It's not even debated. I mean, look at how much mead you can drink. I don't want to drink mead, I want to drink rum. Much better. So yeah, you've got Skyrim. And Skyrim, I played with an arrow. I'm pretty sure any intelligent person played with an arrow or a two-handed axe, because... What's the point in being a normal warrior? I mean, it's not fun at all. Like, for anyone. Bleak Falls Barrow. That's a phrase that I always think of with Skyrim. Bleak Falls Barrow. I don't know why. Wait, what is Bleak Falls Barrow? It doesn't tell me what it is. I don't know. That's the only thing I think of with Skyrim, and I don't know why. Oh, another one I grinded. Yeah, um... I liked my Forza just a bit too much. Um... This was not nearly in the time period it needed to be in. Like, I'd leave this game for long periods of time, and then I'd, like, more than wake up, more than make up for it with playing it. Yeah, that was, um... I am pretty boss at, uh, Forza. So that's something. And that is all of my stuff for this character. However, I think he does have some awards. Yes, from Saints Row the Third. I've gotten some shirts and stuff, and Gat's head, apparently. Halo 4, I got something. Oh, I got a helmet. Why am I not wearing that, then? I don't know. I got some rich watches. <laughs> Halo Reach, I got more helmets. Why am I not wearing a helmet? Oh, because it'll not show off my scar and stuff. Oh, Nightmares. I got some stuff in Nightmares. Yeah, check me out. Oh, I got something in Toy Soldiers? Oh, it's not impressive, though. Got my hopes up. So, now let's see what my character looks like. Yeah, that's great. Now, customize avatar. 
So we're going to zoom in and look at all of the things that my character owns. Really quickly. Because I want to, that's why. Yeah, I'll do that thing later. Now. My, um, how do I take my thing off? Oh, there we go. Now, the hairstyle I'm using is, oh crap, it's gone. Oh, okay, I'm using bald because I'm wearing a helmet, that's why. Okay, I see why. Never mind, never mind. So, my eyes, I use the eagle eyes. You look over here, so that I can get that corner and up and stuff. And my eyebrows are small and thin eyebrows. Can you not change the color? Why did I go with that color? It doesn't even match me at all. The face, I don't believe I had facial hair, yeah. I did have, however, the scar over the left eye for aesthetic-related aesthetic reasons. However, I think I also sometimes used that one. The skull painting. Body size, I'm about that size. Colors and stuff. My hair was always blonde. Um, my eyebrows, for whatever reason, were brownish. I don't know why. My eye color was always light blue. And my skin color was always white as bloody knobs. Ah, yes, and there... Uh, we'll not get to that yet. Eyeshadow. I, I didn't wear eyeshadow? Hmm, usually I eyeshadow my characters lightly so that they get more definition. That's interesting. Mouth and chin. What kind of a chin did I have? I had a normal chin, pointy chin. Mouth, though. I've got the sort of Jaws mouth. Yeah. So that's fun. Nose. I think I had the smallest nose. No, I didn't. That's interesting. I thought I had the smallest nose. I probably went with the most normal looking one. Ears. Yeah, I got Elven, which you can't really see in this helmet, but you can see it over there. So that's the thing. Turn slightly, there we go. Um, ah, here we go. That's how you change those things. So, shirts. I liked my rocker jacket. And I also wore other stuff. I swear I did. Um, so yeah, I'd wear my rocker jacket so that I could be, like, sort of, for my normal wear and stuff. So yeah, I liked my Legion of the Dead helmet. I don't think I've ever played whatever game this is actually from. So, I've got the Gat's Head. And, oh, uh, that's the thing I don't have unlocked yet, apparently. Ah, uh, and I've got the Toy Soldier's Mask. If they wouldn't put that stuff in front, that would be great. Ooh, I like this. If only the visor were see-through. But yeah. So, glasses. I would sometimes wear glasses. I'm not sure what, which ones, though. Um, and gloves. I had my Forza gloves. Yeah, check out these Forza gloves. Actually, I don't think they are Forza brand gloves. Huh, that's interesting. But rings. I swear I was wearing a ring. I was wearing, um... What ring was I wearing? I swear I was wearing this ring. Yeah. I was totally wearing that ring. Shut up, I was wearing that ring. I don't wear earrings. Oh, wait, I just saw my hair. The heck. Yeah, see, there's my hair. Right there. That's the hair that I use. Spiky as it comes. Now, show up as bald, jerk. Props. Yeah, 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 show up with props. I had the UAV. Wait, can you show it off? As in, like, today, preferably. Come, come now, dear. We don't have all day. Okay, well, uh, next time he does it, I'll show it off then. Um, and I think the suit I wore was maybe, no, it wasn't the blue one. I think it might have been this white one, when I did have my character wearing a suit. I wore black trainers. Weirdos. People, people are weird when they call stuff trainers. Ah, yes, I, I like my um, pockets on the sides like that, and I saw chains, and I was like, oh, chains. Love chains. Please don't chain me up, though. Got a great look. Ah, here we go. Wear epicness. Okay, so this outfit's called epicness, apparently. Here's my king's attire. Um, yeah, so those are the glasses I wore. 
Facial features never changed, and apparently the gloves never changed either. And awesome. Okay, awesome was the step before epicness. Got it. Okay, so here's my UAV. So it went up like that. And it spun around like that. And I really, really liked that UAV. And it says Infinity Ward on the laptop Intel thing that you have to collect. So yeah, I liked, um... I liked Modern Warfare 2 quite a bit, probably too much. But yeah, that's... pretty much all there is to this profile. Alright, so this character did not have much of a run. This was literally my, um... I wanted this character for some reason, I don't know why. He was always an offline character, I never had any real purpose to having him. Uh, apparently he played Forza. Oh yeah, that was... Okay, I had my dad log in with this character, I think. Uh, a little bit of Modern Warfare 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I played with my, um... My, uh, I'm gonna use the word friend, yeah. Played with him, some spec ops and stuff. Uh, ODST, uh, played a little bit of that, apparently. I really liked ODST, so that would explain why I played it with this profile. Minecraft, I'm not sure why I had this character in Minecraft. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, and Halo 4. Actually, I should go through the achievements really quickly, that way I just have a record of them, which ones this character owned. Not sure why I need a record, but for a reason, reasons, also OCD is why I went back that way. Um, my Warfare, did I already get that one? And Halo 4, just slide all the way to the end. Maybe it's frame by frame if I need to. I can just look at the achievement like a normal person. Anyways. The thing I really like about this character is his design. Yeah, there's something about this character. I don't know what it is. I like his design, Elvin Gay. Um, if it would have a load, then I'd be able to show you all what a brilliant design he has. Change my features, hairstyles. Now he is rolling with the slicked back hairstyle. It's literally just slicked back. Not particularly hard to understand. Eyebrows, eyes, he's probably going with something wavy. Yeah, wavy. Eyebrows, he's got just normal standard curvy eyebrows. Nothing out of the ordinary. Facial hair, he's got sideburns, heavy sideburns. Well, we got heavy sideburns, however, he is also running with concerned wrinkles up there in the forehedular region. Forehedular region, why not? He's tall, yeah, probably tall. But he's stockily built. Um, hair colour, just dark brown. No facial features. Eyebrows are the same as hair, probably. White. Red eyes, because, you know. Eyeshadow color. He didn't have any eyeshadow. Seriously, usually my characters have eyeshadow. Apparently I didn't like that with my like, Xbox characters. Um, chiseled chin, so that he'd have that sort of I am hero look. To him, his mouth was the locked teeth. Because it's a gangster. It's an elven gangster, yeah. Pointy nose. And he's got the elven ears, because I like my elven ears. That's probably what inspired this character in the first place. So we're going to quickly go to my outfits, yes. Okay, he only has the outfits wearing. So shirts, he's probably wearing just the standard gothic long sleeve top. Um, headwear, he's wearing the nice black trulic. Hat, accessories, glasses, check out them shades, stunner, not wearing any watches for some reason, not wearing any gloves, what a loser, does have a skull because he's sort of gothic but not quite enough, doesn't wear, I thought, I thought this character wore earrings, apparently he doesn't, no props though, no props for you, yeah, don't draw him off, what kind of, oh, you know, soft style, ah yes, he doesn't wear socks and sandals because he's a gangster, he can't afford anything else. Dark purple jeans, apple bottom jeans, and boots with the fur. The fur? The fur? Only a bit more. Okay, okay, shut up. Oh, he got a helmet too. And he apparently stretches, he doesn't have anything. But yeah, that's pretty much Elven Gang, and I'm out for now. Alright, so, I had the account Kitwat. 
but I didn't have access to the email and they changed the terms of service, so I had to log back in, but I didn't know what email it was. And I also didn't know the password, so I was kind of screwed as far as Kitwat goes. So I could still log into him on the console just as long as he didn't say yes or no to the new terms of service and stuff. So I couldn't really do anything with him, so I had to create a new online account. So I created Kithack Watt. So I basically wasted three months of gold, Xbox Gold, because I couldn't do anything with it. So this is basically the same character, if you look at him. So it's the spiky on top, it's the probably the eagle eyes, yeah. The eyebrows are probably the same. Actually, these ones are different. These are pointed eyebrows. Um, actually, I think he, he, he does have facial hair, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He has the um, sideburns, light sideburns, because I had that sort of style back then. And this was the one that I had the face paint on. Kind of goes with my mouth really well. Um, I liked it. Body size is probably about the same. No, it's not. It's much taller. Um, but the hair color, it was about the same. Maybe a little darker. Uh, I had red cheeks. Eyebrows were more blonde, which makes sense. I didn't have any lips. Skin color was even whiter. <laughs> um, eye color were darker. Facial hair was blondish. Eyeshadow, I didn't have any eyeshadow. Huh. Well, let's change that right now before I get rid of my account. There we go. Shut up, it's a nice color. Now. The chin, I had the usual pointy chin. As this is my thing. I had the fearsome teeth. Jaws like teeth. Same nose, probably. Actually, I think, it, yeah, it was one paint over. This one's sharper. Kind of looks like Penguin now that I look at it. Elven ears, as is per usual. Now my style, I wore, I wore a suit, um, he actually did have prop of his own, didn't he? No, he didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't get one for this profile. Okay. Outfits, though. I had the outfit I'm wearing right now, which is formalities. And then I had this outfit, which was the kit mod. And I liked, um, that angle. Because it's cute. So yeah, that's pretty much this character, really. Um, not much to him, as far as that goes. Did he have any awards? Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, he actually got the shirt. I'm confused. Wait, why didn't I have the shirt with my other character? Oh, check that out. Dude, that's cool. Dude, check that out. I did not play much of Magic 2013. But yeah, that's really that character. And I'm getting rid of everything on the hard drive, that's why I'm doing this just before I kill off my Xbox and sell it. So if anyone wants to buy it, it might still be on sale at this point. I'm gonna run you a deal, it's got the, um... It's got two rechargeable um, controllers with it. I'm going about $100 with it. Yeah, probably about $100. It's an Xbox 360, 120 gigabyte hard drive, which means, as usual, they're being cheapskates. You probably get about 116 gigs, I would expect. Four gigs for just running the operating system. I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much that. By the way, do I have any friends? Not if I'm not online, I don't. Okay, but yeah, 2600 gamer score, I already went through that on my own personal folder. Hello, and welcome to the Wii segment. And seriously, why, why are you watching this? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm waiting on spinning things to happen, spinning related times. That's done, that's done. Now the first thing I'm going to go through is Wii Play. If I could hit the bloody button, then that would be great. Okay, there we go. So we are going into We Play in order to make sure your wrist strap. I don't have a wrist strap. That's interesting. No, my main one does not have a wrist strap because I put it in the gun and it just looked weird have a wrist strap out of the back of the gun. But yeah, if it could hurry up and get past that screen, that would be great. Oh, I have to press button. Okay, well, that solves that problem. We Play, press a P and A at the same time. Done. Nailed it. One player. Yes, please. Oh, I love it when I don't have to use 
um, the actual pointy bits. Um, I'll use my character. I guess I gotta go through my me's too, huh? Yes, my character. Hurry up and do that thing. I'm trying to check high scores and stuff. Okay, the record at bird shooting was 330 points. The record was 10 points for find me. Oh, that's the one where you click and spot me's. Um, I got 35 times on the table tennis game, which means I'm pretty boss. 261 points for that stupid spinny game with the bubbles. Um, five, I won five points. I am a bronze medalist, as is per usual with laser hockey, which I actually like that game. Why don't I do better? Um, 39 points with billiards. Not sure how that works. Might have to play that one one more time before getting rid of this. Fishing got me 1990 points. Um, I was pretty boss at fishing. That wasn't a gold. I was pretty boss at that, but alright. Maybe it was 2000 or something. I was also pretty boss at charge, which is a really weird one. Um, and tanks was 29 points, and that should be everything on this game. This game was way too overpriced. So we're going to return quickly to the Xbox menu at Xbox? No, not Xbox. Oh, wait, I can't... Go back. Keep going back. Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Hit back, back. Oh crap. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of jump cuts in this. Yes. Keep pressing A. There we go. I probably should have taken it out of the gun first. Alright, here we go. We are headed in the right direction now. Oh, please don't tell me I have to watch this happen. Okay, there we go. And Batman the video game. I got 89% in this. I just checked my progress. That's how I know I'm not... My memory's not that good. Hurry up, skip that thing. Connect the nudge. I did! Why are you screaming at me? I did. I, it's connected. See, I'm pressing Z and C at all of the buttons. And that thumbstick does not go down like an Xbox controller. My bad. We runs really, really hot, but that might just be me because nobody touches it. But like we, the um intake for we is actually like half the size of a penny. It's amazing that thing can stay cool. But all right, press plus. That's weird. Uh, load game, yes please. Um, is that slot one? Ah uh, yes. There we go. Please do not touch the power button. I don't intend to. There's a button there. But we're going to quickly go through. This is going to be a little more in-depth than my um, Xbox One. This might actually take longer. Um, If you could hurry up, that would be great, dear. Okay, so this is the game where you go around and you collect all of the those. Um, let me just check the missions really quickly. How do I step into C? Which button is C? And then uncheck. Okay. Now, can I quickly check mission progress and stuff? Do mission show? Okay, yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, I've collected red bricks and all of the things. And we're done with that. Next. Get out. Um, oh, okay, it says down at the bottom, so I'm not going to have to do that anymore. This one, can you give me my data? There we go. See, oh, I've got all the things. Now, if you could run up there. Yeah, 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 get on my way. Nightshade or whatever. Do that. I don't know how to jump. Okay, I figured out how to jump. Oh, crap, there's a freaking hole in the ground there. What the heck, man? Um, and there's some sort of elevator there. Well, yeah, let's go through the elevator. Why not? Bye, Robin! Um, and I've got whatever this is. The gold bat suit. Okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, how do I get out of this? Okay, there we go. And I've got whatever this is. The ice treat. I've got two faces. Uh, okay. These must all be from the red bricks and stuff. I should have everything. What the heck is... Oh, okay, it's just table. I thought I was missing something. So yeah, I should have everything or bloody close. Because I'm 89%. Hi, Batgirl. Sup, chick. Um, wait, if I do this right... Batgirl. Wait, where's Batgirl? I want Batgirl for this entire thing. Oh, yeah. Batgirl. Because she's hot. Shut up. Well, it actually depends on which Batgirl you're thinking of. Um, but Wayne Manor, what's the difference? Oh, crap, that's apparently a game. 
don't do that. Okay, so my manor, I got whatever that score was that flashed up on screen that I didn't care about. There's another guy with bloody sticks, so we're going to go back down here. Yeah, just ignore that. Don't care. Hurry up. Come on, female. Do it better. Run faster. Do it better. Come on. You can do it. I know that for a fact there are other levels than the 15 or whatever that were shown. So if you could go up one more time, that would be great. There we go. Next level. Um, oh crap, there's something up there, isn't there? No, there's not. What am I thinking? There is not. The dumbbells or something. Um, that's how you get to the that, isn't it? Unless it's that, that just leads over there to that. What does this do? I don't know. Um, okay, you press Z. Oh, okay, this is how you get into the evil people's lair or whatever. I thought my TV was genuinely having a problem. Oh crap, no, wait. No, don't. Get out. Okay, what's going on? Wait, what happens if I fall this? Oh crap, I'm stupid. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now there are going to be a lot of jump cuts in this thing. Why are all these people here? Get out of my way. Who am I? I'm that character. Okay, big clay guy. See, I, I remember the characters. And uh, if I go in here, um, then there's a uh, friggin' something. I swear there are levels to these guys. Yeah, 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 guards are being killed. We're just gonna ignore those guys. Wait, did I just get attacked? What the heck, mate? Mate? Let me just go this way. Um, yeah, so this is where they're hanging people. Oh, okay, these, these are the characters that I made. Okay, so that's... It's, it became a thing that I would always have, um, Darth Excellency? Darth excellent Darth um wait, how do I swap characters? Darth Excellency and um crap, I forgot who the other guy is, but yeah, he's right there. Um, and can I go through the wall here? No I can't. Uh how do I get out of here? I don't know. Um so I gotta go all the way back apparently. Oh, what the heck is that? I don't think I've ever done that in this game. Well, see, you learn something new every day. Well, except for those days that you don't, but we'll just call those school days. Uh, I feel like I've just insulted a teacher or something. So yeah, something probably happens over here if you go this way. Um, is there something for me here? Harlequin, that's more like it. Sub chick? So yeah, over here in this room, there are... Ah, that's what I was looking for. This one, I got all of the things, if you can look clearly, I got all of the things, if you can look clearly. Even over here, I should have gotten all of the things. Good, now. I was, I was expecting her to do a... I was expecting Harlequin to be hot. <laughs> Is that a thing you can do in a Lego game? I don't know. Borderlands did it. In a Lego game? No, they didn't. Okay, never mind. I feel dumb now. How do I get on the ladder? Stupid woman, get on the... Can I get on the ladder if I come this way? Oh, crap. Get out of my way. I can't get on the... Everybody get out of my way. Oh, crap, I messed it up. I was actually climbing. There we go. Don't touch any buttons. There we go. Now I can finally get over here. No. Hacking. What is hacking? I don't want to do that. Whatever that is. And then do this. Flip the switches. Uh, yeah, that's great. Batgirl. Come on, Batgirl. Hurry up, Batgirl. You're so stupid, Batgirl. I hope you die, Batgirl. Yes, yeah, so clearly I unlocked all of the those, um, and yeah, that's uh, everything really. And this is the main console, and that should be everything in this game, so we're going to go to the next game really quickly. Um, we're going to press this button, and we're going to go to the Wii Mini, Wii Mini, Wii Mini. How about I physically press the A button? There we go. Rather than pressing the trigger on the A, apparently it's not seated right for this. But yeah, um, next game. Yeah, baby, here we go. Guinness World Records, the video game. Um, 
Yeah, I'll be pressing the start button or the end button instead of actually relying on this to press it now. Crap, I hit a button. It's not actually hitting the button. Okay, I think I've reset it. I've reset it in the gun, hopefully that works. Um, a smart person would have a chair instead of just leaning over a microphone, but if I could get the bloody game to start, that would be even better than not having a chair. Now, wouldn't it? That's the problem with the Wii, is you can't really sit down close to the thing, because the sensor bar has to be at least a foot and a half, I think. Press any button or key. Oh, I didn't even think about that. This is in a map format, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so that's what I look like right there. 49% completion. Oh, yeah, I have to press plus, not that. I can't, I'm holding it the wrong way. There we go. Um, wait, how do I... Okay, so, yeah. I've gotten... I don't even know how to read this thing. How do, how do I read this? What the heck am I looking at here? I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, I've gotten those. Okay, so anything colored in is something I've gotten. Um, I think. I don't know. If it isn't, then I, I might be recording this pointlessly. Um, let's see. Anything else in Africa? Yeah, I have, yeah, I have got that thing. Got all those things. Head on back over here. I got that thing. Um, is there an iceberg competition? No, there's not. There's a hot air balloon, though, and there's that thing over there. Um, you know, we don't got to worry about nothing over there. In Australia, we got that. In New Zealand, no. Oh, but we got a sandcastle. No, that's a submarine, but that doesn't matter. But we're going to do this part over here. And there is a North Pole challenge? No, there isn't. But, uh, did I get all the things? I think I've gone through all the things, except for the tip of South America, which there's no South Pole challenge. And, yeah, that's pretty much all the things, huh? Oh, wait. Um, I think, actually... If I press the A button, then that's not important now. <laughs> I have to physically press the minus button. No thanks. What does this do? No. No. Oh wait, certificates. That'll give me the fast version. Okay, so. Uh, that, 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 that. Crap. What did I do? Oh, okay, that's okay. And you go like that, that, that. Next one. And that one, that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, next one. That one, 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 that one. I probably don't have the ones with question marks, huh? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, next one? Oh, no next one, good. I think that may have actually covered all of my things. Oh, wait, let me go through customizer really quickly in case I had something special. My inventory. Oh, I probably didn't, actually. Um, yep. Yep, there are things there. There are most definitely things. Um, yep, so these are things I had. Uh, yeah, I, I unlocked those things, and yep, those are things, and there's one more page of things, and yep, those are things. Um, I was wearing cool shoes, if I remember rightly. They weren't as cool as I thought I remembered them as, but that's not important. Um, I already went through hats, they're full outfits, yep, I got those things. Um, yep, and there's my name, yep, that's definitely my name. Um, can I add, oh crap, I, I don't know. Uh, yes please, don't save those changes, keep my character as he was. He's still good, good, what does this do? This is statistics, there we go, that's what I was looking for the whole thing. Um, there are my scores, uh, I, I press down, and I press down again, and okay, that's done. And now I can go over to uh, settings, no, amazing fact cards, yes, amazing fact cards. Um, yep, I unlock those, 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 those. Um, I don't actually care about these things, so we're just going to ignore those. Um, settings, and then, okay, that's, um, I think we're pretty much done, so next game. Yeah, 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 go to the Wii menu, whatever. Um, the faster you can get to the Wii menu, the better. Come on, dear, we don't have all day. Go back to the disc menu, we can do this. Ugly, I just turn and look at you, baby. This is how we roll. Uh, and now that's gonna be immortalized in this freaking thing. Carnival, baby, here we go. Carnival, yes, yeah, skip that thing. Whatever, I don't care. Can we grind it into the freaking brain holes?
Are we done? Global style software. Yeah, that's great. Don't care. Um, the faster we can get through this, the better. There we go. Carnival. Yep. It kind of looks like that, and it's uh, pretty, pretty awesome. I get to select a booth. Um, the prize booth is that is that where I want to go? Maybe. Okay, it's single player. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, is this my character with the, oh dear god, I look horrifying. Why, why do I look so horrifying? Yep, that's my character. How do I press plus okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, press plus okay. Can I get in a, uh, rodent rogue? Can I see my high score somehow just to quickly save through those? Quickly, just to save through those. Um, can I see my high scores in this? Or did I just accidentally press play? I think I just killed it. Okay, there we go. Oh crap, now I gotta, no, I don't want to. Okay. There's no back button. Yeah, that's great and all. Um, can we... Okay, I have to just waste all my bullets, probably. Okay, I'm out of bullets now. Do I lose? Yes! Okay, good. Um, back to rodent row is... Uh, okay, there we go. Now I can see my things. This is the things that I've gotten out of this game, I think. To go back to rodent row. Oh wait, don't I just need to look at my prizes in order to see what I've won? Actually, yeah, I think I do. Um, go back then. Uh, uh, I've. Oh wait, I want to go through what the games were really quickly. Um, there was that duck shoot thing. There was also pigskin things, and there was shoot for the stars, and there was super old west, and all of the that, and there was that, and then I can go back here. Now, if you could hurry, that would be great. We got lucky pass over on this side. And in Lucky Pass, you had the that, and you had the that, and you had the that, and you had the that. If I can just get these to show up for a second, that would be great. Push prize. I'll be able to figure out what they were just by looking at them. If you care about them, then you can go look at someone else's YouTube channel. By the way, why are you still watching this? Because it really doesn't make sense for you to be watching someone's personal record, so just so they can have it listed somewhere else, just in case something happens to my hard thing, and I actually, hard copy, and I actually want to, um, know what my scores were in my Wii games. That's really weird. Um, why am I doing this? I don't even know. But if we could get to... What did I not do? Fortune Way? Yeah, because it's a fortune teller in Fortune Way. And she looks really rather weird, but not as weird as I remember her looking. That's interesting. Maybe I've watched too many I Dream of whatever her name is things with my parents. But yes, if we could just get that stupid white dot off the screen and go to Prize Boulevard. The stupid white dot is back on the screen. Oh, there we go. So we can see all of my prizes. My prizes are there. There are my prizes. Um, that's Fortune Way, though. Claw Alley looks like this. Yep, there's my scores. Now Lucky Pass looks like this. There's my scores. Now Rodent Row looks like this. There's my scores. Done. Good. Go back. Now hurry up. Go back faster. Go back faster. Is that the entire thing? I think that might actually be the entire game now, if I could go back. Um, by the way, that's what my character looks like. Um, these are my parents' characters, those two right there. I've also got another one apparently, and I've got another one apparently, but we don't care about them because they're not my main character. What is this? That's multiplayer, so it doesn't really matter. So what we do need is we need the Wii menu and we need to go back. Yes, I'm getting better at aiming this thing. Just fr it just freaking spat it back out at me. I'm confused. This thing's got a freaking personality. Now, if the disc channel could just load that game really quickly, that'd be great. Oh, it didn't load. It's in backwards, huh? Faced it the wrong way. Totally molded it. Got it. Disc side faces down. The actual read side faces down. Also, I'm talking upside down into the mic because I'm looking at a light. I'm, why am I doing this? <laughs> I'm using my Wii as my Wii Wii. <laughs> um, can we hurry up now? Stop. WarriorWare! Smooth moves, baby! Right then, this is a uh, game's very high score centered, and I did spend quite a bit of time in this game, so here we go with WarriorWare, baby! A long time ago, we ignored the thing, and it pulls his mustache, but we don't care about that. What we care about is single player. Um, just my profile, if you would, yeah, 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 whatever, shut up. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we're gonna, oh crap. Is that where I just look at scores? 
the temple of form. Um, okay, there we go. No, wait, that's not... Is there a way to look at just scores? Scores? No. <sighs> Don't go too high. Go back, story form, yeah, okay, I can't just look at scores. No? Okay, well, I might not be looking at high scores on this. Is there a way to look at high scores? Oh, okay, there we go. High scores appear in the top right. So there we go. Oh, okay, wait, well, each of these is their own. And if I remember rightly, the one I enjoyed playing the most was... This one, all mixed up. I, I, oh, crap, what the heck? Oh, that's what threw everything off. I've got a metal box here, and I just pointed at the metal box and infrared or whatever this runs off of bounced the other way. Sudden Death, that's the one I was enjoying the most. Sudden Death in this train station. Oh, look at that one. I hit the metal box. It just jumps into the middle, and I can control it off the side of the metal box. That's really interesting. Um, yeah, you guys are sitting on a metal box. That's kind of weird. Get out of my room. Um, uh, next game, I think. Yeah, next game sounds good. I don't really care about scores, other than the fact that I just got them right now. But we're going to be kicking this disc out really quick, so I need to be over there. Come, come now, dear. We don't have all the... I've lost my thing. Oh, there's my mouse. Oh, mouse? No, wait, uh, there we go. Loaded, loaded, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, my mom's company actually has a Powerball. That's what they call their logo, the Powerball. And it's a back east company, so it's just like, our Powerball. Oh dear god, that's freaking... That's where Eternus' voice comes from. Wait, no, that's ink. Shut up, none of you heard that. Um... <laughs> If I do talk for ink, so it'd be better if that guy actually voiced his opinion and we weren't constantly switching roles. Ooh, that would be interesting. <laughs> if ink actually showed his face on camera and didn't just have me talking, that would be really, really interesting. Um, what have we got? Oh, okay, we can control it this way. Okay, um, where are we go. Ooh, maybe I can go to data and look at my records. Yes! That's what I want to see. Um, group records, maybe? I don't know. What is this? I, I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? Nonsense, go back. Um, Brawl Records, maybe? No. This isn't what I want. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, so here are my records really quickly. We're just gonna roll down those. Oh, crap, my frame rate on my actual capture device probably isn't good. No, capture device, yes, I like that. Um, just go down one by one. How long is this list? Just, just purely as a matter of interest. Um, okay, we're good. No self-destructs. Um, is that all of my things? Sound test, options. Oh, solo, yeah, because I need to go through my, um, son of a whore, press the wrong button. Uh, yeah, so all of the whores have sons, except for the ones that don't. Um, subspace? Oh, wait, no, events. There we go. I want to go through my events first. Just like, oh, okay, okay, see, I've gotten all of the events. We get, oh, wait, they have scores? Crap. Okay, so scores in the bottom left corner, times I completed the events in. There's that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I'm making sure I'm getting captured by my camera. If I had a camera with an AV in, I could actually record gameplay, because there are... There are a couple GameCube games that I would love to do. Like, the amount of loving would be... There we go, that's what I want to see. Go back, back. Back. Oh crap, that's right, this game lags a little in the back button. Um, what's Stadium? Stadium is what I think it is, never mind. Um, oh wait, go to Classic. Classic, I've got to look through every character's high scores and stuff really quickly. So there's hers, yours, 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 yours. Did I call Bowser her? Dear God. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Brony. I agree with Drowning in Horseshoes. I freaking hate brownies. Um, where's best character? Best character, if I remember rightly, was not Wolf. Falco. Falco. I like Falco. Falco's a good character. Yeah, he is. Um, but only when he's in the right color. 
Just Black Falco. I like Black Falco. Go back, go back, go back. There we go. You have to hold the button for long enough. And yeah, it takes so long to switch in this game. Uh huh. This game always loads so slowly. Subspace. Where was I in subspace? Come on, dear. I've already pressed the bloody button. There we go. Continue is the only option available. That's a good thing. Um, what is this? 80% on all? Oh, okay, yeah, because I kept saving. That's the thing that I do. I save three ways just to make sure it's good. Um, so yeah, you can see my progress in each of those. Um, yeah, that's that, and that's that one, 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 and even that one, that one, and that one. But also that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, that one. But we gotta go back over here to get that one, that one, that one. That one, there we go, that one, that one, and even that one I've completed on easy mode. Why have I completed... Blue is easy mode, right? Or is it hard mode? I don't know. I don't know. It, do it doesn't matter. I've completed it on hard mode at one point or another. Just trust me on this one. I actually have. Um, it doesn't matter what I do because the important thing is it's next game. Uh, to darn it, why am I stupid? Press yes. Hurry up, we're trying to do this in a timely manner. I'm already at 27 minutes. Alright, so here we go. We are picking back up at Mario and Sonic in the Olympic Games. You guys probably didn't have a break. I did, because that was 27 minutes, 2 gigabytes, hell to get off of an iPod. Takes 10 minutes to get 27 minutes of data off of an iPod. Anyways, the important thing is we're going to be skipping this screen which is licensed by Nintendo. Nintendo, why did you license a screen that takes forever to get past? Yeah, now loading. Hurry up and get to Mario and Sonic and the Olympics and... Stuff, hurry up. Come, come now, dear. We don't have all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Written consent of the IOC or whatever. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are Olympic Games. Yeah. Why would you make me press those two buttons at the same time? They're on opposite sides of the thing. Uh, yeah, press A button to continue. Uh, I don't know. What am I doing? Yeah, press A button. Uh, Kit USA. Yes, do that thing. Hurry up. Come on, dear. We don't have all day. Um, single match circuit, mission, gallery. Gallery, I would assume that's my list of achievements. Oh wait, records was just under that. Huh? Darn it, I'm stupid. What is this? Olympic trivia, Olympic games, and, uh, uh, yep, this was when, um, Beijing Olympic games saving. What do you have to save? Don't reload things, just keep it loaded the first time. Don't you have RAM cards in the Wii? Maybe you don't. Records, come, come now, dear. We don't have all day. That's the one thing I'm here for. My records. I don't care about world rankings. Athletics. Track records, there we go. For the 100 meter, why not? There's, there's my record. Next one. Athletics. Track. Um, 400 meter, why not? Yeah, there's my next one. Athletics. Track. I have to go through this way. 4x100, there's my record for that. Next. Athletics. Track. 110 meter. Ooh, I liked the 110 meter hurdles, actually. Um, athletics, track, I remember doing 100 hur hurdles. 400, I remember that too, but not so much in a good way. Um, athletics, track, was that all of them? Yeah, it was. Athletics, field. Um, long. Yeah, there's my record for that. Not impressive, even slightly. Field, hurry up, field, uh, triple. I remember triples, I don't like triples. Um, I would score highs with knuckles. I liked Knuckles. I used to like Knuckles. Hammer Throw. I did not used to like the Hammer Throw game. That was not one of my favorites. Damn it, Twilight. Records. Press the wrong button. Field. Come on, Javelin. Do I just press Hammer Throw? Darn and I'm stupid. Field. There we go. Javelin. There's my record for that. Now let's go. Athletics. Field. Come on. High jump. I swear they did this just to piss me off in the future, like seven years after the game came out. I don't know, when were, when were the Beijing Olympics? I don't even know. Um, what did I do last time? Pole vault? There we go. Uh, gymnastics. Trampoline. Oh, this one's going to be faster. There's my trampoline score. Yeah, Shadow. Wait, wait Shadow was already out? Okay. I remember Shadow being a big thing. I don't know, maybe he wasn't as big a thing as I thought. Shooting. Ski. Why, why does that even have a subcategory? It's like, oh, darn it, I keep pressing the wrong button like a bloody mong. Come on, shooting. I've lost my mouse. There it is. Skeet. 
Yeah, but there we go, that's great. Um, let's go, uh, archery. Yes, archery's archery. Shut up. It's probably archery. Hey, oh, plug. I've never played that game. I would love to get a Hydra set for the, um, for my computer. But the thing is, I don't usually play at a distance. I'm recording this right, okay, good. That would have been embarrassing. I'm just recording audio. Um, crap, did I do rowing? I don't know. I did now. Single skulls. Yeah, I know I didn't. Because I would have laughed at the fact this is skulls. <laughs> There's no other events. Wow, Wii games are not particularly expensive, are they? But they are worth the money if you want to buy from me, huh? Darn it, I, d I don't know what collections is, I want to know. Did I collect anything? I, I don't know. Okay, crap. Trophies, yep. yep. Got that, got that, got that, got that, got that. I mean, I assume if you're watching this, you probably want to know if my system works, and that's why you're watching, and clearly it does work. Unless it doesn't, and this is just recorded off of someone else's screen with my craptastical recording device. Crowns. Buy some crowns in Wizard 101. I love Wizard 101. Shut up, it's a good game. Now, gallery records. Okay, next game, next game, next game. Uh, Wii menu. Yes, please. Well, yes, we just turn like a new baby. This is how we roll. Yeah, baby. Okay, so we are running with the Force Unleashed right now, if I remember rightly. This one is glitched. My version of the Force Unleashed. So that'll be fun if it'll ever load. There we go. Done. Good. In. I was back in time for a loading screen, really? <laughs> I am so out of shape. Um, but yeah. I found that funny because I'm actually really skinny. I mean, I know where I keep my fat, but... Stuff like that. Uh, if it could load, that would be great. By the way, if you're buying my Wii, you will not be getting any Wii remotes. I can give you two nunchucks, but my Wii remotes are all in devices uh, that I like. They're staying on my nerd shelf, indisputable fact. Done. Uh, continue. Oh, I have a laser. Uh, let's go with the furthest forward one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spinning, spinning, spinning lasers of death. Come on, loading. Don't want to be loading. Want to be going. See, this is what happens when you've got really, really old software. Hardware? Hardware. Well, the software is not particularly new either. Actually, it is kind of new. They did just release an update, or at least I picked one up after six years of not using the Wii, so that's probably more likely. So if this could din, if this could din loading, yes. Now the computer, does it store my scores? No, can I go back? Are there scores? I don't know what I'm looking at. Extras, that might be my scores. Holocrons. Oh yeah, that's things I've collected. Okay, yeah, I've got that. Yes, view. Okay, yeah, that's great, yeah. Okay, I've got one there. And that one. What's... This is not following things as expected. Yep, there's that one. And there's that one. These are all things I've collected. Come on, dear. I feel like eating the microphone. I don't know why. There's that one. Okay, I think I've gotten the hang of this now. If it can be hanged. Yep, that's concept art I've earned. And there's one, two spots over. Two spots over, there we go, dear. Come on. This is all for my own personal reference, so if you're watching this, what is wrong with you? And there's going to be one over here, just past a question mark, there we go. We're on 70 only. Come 
Come on. Greedo! Yeah, see, I know characters. Um, my favorite Star Wars character is actually Grievous. And there's a reason for that, is because I used to make my own... Why did you go that way? My own story is about, um... A droid sort of like Grievous, except he was a standard battle droid who had sentience. Darn it! Oh wait, did it remember where I was? No, it didn't. Uh, not even slightly. I was on like 80 something? What was I looking at? That was Grievous and that was that. I think I was here. Yeah, but these are all places I've been. I think. I don't. I, I genuinely don't know what this is. It's just a concept art gallery. They included in the game for some unknown reason. We good, Captain? Ah, uh, no, there's more. We're at 125, so we're going the right way. Come on, one more. There we go. Blindy. The only noise is my controller right now. <laughs> and that noise is particularly loud. And I missed the button. There we go. And I'm still synced, right? Well, if I'm not, then... Oh yeah, I did sync at the beginning of this. Never mind, none of you had that. Of course it was the next part over. And there should be one right after this. Beautiful. Ooh, hot space chick. Um, 176, come on. And we got Gungans. Got some sort of weirdo. One more, come on, dear. that one over there, let's go back one step, go back over there, there. No Rattan cards on the Wii, are there? Come on. I wonder if the Wii's got like a half a megabyte of RAM. <laughs> Oh, done? Good. Okay, so we're done with that. She, data bank, that's probably... I don't know what this is. Maybe this is my high scores? Are there high scores in this? Data bank is a worthless thing. Maxocorco Falbatorius. That's actually not Harry Potter. That's um something else. Force powers, that's what I was looking for. Okay, there we go. See, all my force powers are matched, maxed, and you should be able to see them as I scroll back up to the top. My frame rate isn't particularly horrible now. Where's my lightsaber customized? Customized costumes. There we go. So we got Maul, which is my favorite. We've got training gear. Got to make sure these actually show up in the actual capture. If it could Kinto, I don't even know who Kinto is. Jungle combat. That's weird. And Corellian flight suit. I've always liked the name Corellian. I don't know why. Bounty hunter disguise. The disc is just freaking the frick out. And we're back to Darth Maul, which is my favorite, so we're gonna go out. And lightsaber should be somewhere here. Customized lightsaber, there we go. Color crystals, yeah, I got those crystals. Um, That's literally all the crystals, okay, good. Uh, we've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one, i got that one. Enhanced lightning, good, love that. Um, I use that one, even though I've got all of those. So it looks nothing like a sonic screwdriver, and that's back to the Navi computer, you know what that means, that means next game, come on, Wii menu. Yeah, 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 shut up, next game, come on! on my game wall. That's right, none of these games are coming with it. But if you buy this, you can have Rock Band 2. I would totally s separate myself with that. That's not the word I'm looking for. Part with that, there we go. Part with that. Um, yes, Rock Band 2 and a free guitar to go with it. The guitar works, I just tested it. Literally, like, not an hour ago. 
But four hours ago, there we go, four hours ago, Hudson Hornet. Oh, I get it now, Hudson Hornet, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, let's go single player. I, I would assume the other one was open match, deck of league, deck of challenge, locker room. That's probably where my high scores are. I'm also holding this right in front of my penis. Um, records, deck of league. Um, yeah, I've got those things. Not sure what that means. Tournaments. Yep, I've got that thing. That thing. Yeah, I was boss at kart racing and soccer. You could not beat me at soccer. <laughs> they beat soccer too easy in this game for the player. Or maybe just for me, I don't know. Oh dear god, that brings back horrible memories. No one saw that name, shut up. Was that where I was? Um, yeah, I was. I uh, go back. Crap, it's, it's freaking out. Was that everything? Team profiles. Team profiles. Okay, wait, where's my team? Team Thunder? I don't even remember. Wait, is, is this my theme? Mad Maidens? I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I really don't know what I'm looking at. It's, this may or may not be my collection of teams. Is that a thing that I did in this game? I don't know. I don't know how this game works, but I think I just went through everything this game has to offer. So, controls, deck of challenge, locker room, deck of league, yeah, yeah, yeah. next game. Next game, the one I'm going to spend a lot of time on, Lego Indiana Jones. <laughs> the first one, yes, the first one. Not particularly long. Come on, load so that I can not have to wait on loading. Come on, dear. There's already going to be a lot of cutting in this. Oh crap! I pressed the button. Now I can wait for it to spin up. Oh crap! I almost knocked the entire freaking thing over. Indiana Jones: The Original Adventures, licensed by the one, the only, the amazing, the God free of potatoes. Don't know where I was going with that. But connect the nunchuck to the Wii Remote. I have done that thing. Now, if you could let me pass the screen. I'm pressing the button as fast as I bloody well can. TT Games. TT Games. Love a good TT Games. Did TT Games stop working? Or did, uh, maybe they didn't stop. But you know what they did do is they did uh, make more LEGO games. Which is a good thing. Haven't played them, but they did definitely make more LEGO games. I was a big fan of LEGO Star Wars for the... Not Nintendo DS, for the Game Boy Advance. Loved those. Um, load game, yes, load game. The 100% one, yes please. I apparently started on that I got up to 68% because I got so excited about the 100% I had. Um, yeah, that means the game is saving. Oh, could you just walk faster in a circle? This is a boring loading screen, come on. I want to go through and show off all of my accomplishments about the fact that I'm a seriously uh, retarded gamer. Come on. I got 100% of this. Yeah, I, and I got stuff to rain from the sky and stuff now. What's a purple one do? I don't know. I'm, I'm at max coins, so maybe it's worth more. Um, oh, it lagged. What the heck? It doesn't lag. That's not a thing that happens. Oh, crap. Get off the... Get off the bloody thing. I can get my scores this way. There's my score for that one. There's my score for that one. There's my score for that one. Why is it rain hearts? I don't know. Um, let's explore this uh, right to left. Sounds good. Oh, run up faster, you stupid man. Okay, yep, here's my trophy room for this. Can, can I get it without looking at it? There's the giant whatever idol and the that and that. Okay, there we go. We can just flash those on the screen really quickly. Hopefully my frame rate isn't that bad. I need to hit that one again. There we go. Hit that one. 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 Come on, not that much bloody longer. I had way too much fun in this game. Is that everything good? We're going. Let's go. Oh, wait, there's also this. If you, uh, What's the button I need to pull? Wait, how do I... Okay, you pick that up, right? Yeah, and then you stick it in this, right? Okay, yeah, and then that does something, does it? I don't know. Oh, okay, there we go. That, there's my score in that. There's my score in that. And there's young indie, whatever that is. Not sure what that does. Can you roll into the next screen? Is there anything back here? There probably isn't, is there? No, nope, there's definitely nothing over there. Oh, he tried to freak out. That's the thing that he did actually manage to accomplish. 
He freaked out. Oh, he freaking bumped his head. I'm trying to look and see if there's anything over here. Is there anything over here other than a couple radiators? No, there's not. Go ahead and slam your head into the ground. Um, what's through here? Oh, we got customizable characters. Okay, these are characters that I've earned. So we're just gonna go through the. Not that fast. We're just gonna go through these really quickly. Oh, crap. It's freaking can't hold this down for long. That's Bandit Swordsman. So this is gonna take a while. Lao Che. I don't remember any of these characters. The Maharaja, I actually do remember. Never mind, I do remember some of these characters. In pajamas. Who the heck is Willy? Is she, is she a main character? She probably is, huh? Oh, I remember Okie Dokie, Okie Dokie Dr. Jones. Yeah, Okie Dokie Dr. Jones. Well, uh, Shorty. I think that's what his name is. Short Round. Short Round. Yeah, yeah. Good Ride Short Round or something like that. Han Solo in this game, apparently. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was in a, he was like stuck upside down or something. Or was that Luke Skywalker? Never mind. I'm confused. Have I been through this entire list? I don't know. I, I, I wasn't looking, paying attention. Uh, yeah, because that's first mate. I had to have been through this. This entire list. Yeah, Lao Che, okay. Because I remember making fun of that name. Um, and there's that over there. Oh, come on. Am I missing something? I swear, there were things hidden in this game that I've got to be missing right now. Was there anything up there on top of the bookshelves? No, there wasn't. Okay, go. Go, do it better, Windy. Windy? Yes, Windy. Come on, Windy. Um, we're doing this left to right now. Um, what's in this room? This room is some sort of altar classroom. Yeah, they're, they're kind of the same thing anyway. What is this? I don't even know. It's, oh, it's a cheat code wall, I think, actually. Yeah, I think that's how you unlock cheat codes and stuff. Next one, movies. What, what's happened in the movie room? Oh, okay, these are all the clips from the game and stuff. So if I wanted to see those, which I don't. Uh, is there something right here? No, there's nothing behind that wall. Okay, let me just find out what's in this door. Um, yeah, that's something explosive. Um, none of these characters are particularly explosive. What does this do? Um, yeah, so these all do things and stuff. Characters interact with things, nothing important in that room. Next room, come on! This room has... oh wait, these are some sort of achievement-y looking things, right? Secret characters. I don't know what secret characters do. Disguises. I'm not sure what's going on here. The beep beep. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. What the heck am I looking at? Oh, okay, there we go. So these are all the cheats I have turned on, or what? Wow, this thing is freaking slippy. You have to freaking touch this thing for a millionth of a second in order to stop it on a something. Silhouettes is a cheat, really? Alright. Okay, go back. Was there anything else in this room? No, there was not. Let's... Get the hay out of dodge. Um, yeah, head slam into that thing. What's in this area? Carrot farm. Yeah, I love a good carrot farm. Come on. Do it faster. Do it better. Come on, dear. Come on. I'm gonna jump over you. Oh, nailed it. Shut up. Uh, I'm, um, I'm bloody impressive. Ah, there are my characters. It should be probably Darth Excellency. Except he's going by the name of Darth Excellent now. Um, how do I swap characters? Heck, do I have to claim him? I don't know. How do I... Taking for a test drive? Oh, there we go. And then... Now if I go over here... Okay, well anyways, that's what my other character looks like. Darth Excellence and Darth Awesome. There we go. Darth Excellency and Darth Awesome. Oh, I can't take him out of this room, though, apparently. So if I stand back up here, will he let me go back to my business? There we go. Oh, wait, how do I... Get out of here. I just switched his hat, didn't I? Well, it doesn't really matter, because I'm getting rid of my Wii and all of my data anyway. Oh, I gotta go through my Wii characters too. Is there a door over here? Gotta go through kill all my Wii characters too, but I've gotta first record them. Um, come on, dear, come on. Yeah, and you can hide in shrubs and stuff in this game. Hurry up. Now, if we could run faster, that would be great. Come on. Anything to the left? No, there's nothing to the left. Anything to the right? No, there's nothing to the right. Stop creeping on that wall. It's freaking weird. Okay, that should be everything in this game, so thank you to everyone who has watched this, because you are really weird and kind of 
Yeah, definitely really weird. Oh, and there's the old guy. The bloody old guy. I don't remember what his name is. Unless he's not who I think he is, and he just fell on his face hole. But yeah, and, um, that's, um, bye guys, see you in the Wii's, or the Mii's, or whatever they're called. Okay guys, this is the Photo Channel 1.1, I don't have anything on this besides this one picture, but I just really like that picture, it's so brilliant. Okay, we're gonna skip across all of those channels to the Me channel, this is what I'm looking for, the Me channel, gotta go through all my Mii's really quickly. By the way, don't forget to say hi guys, because that means you have been watching this video, unless you haven't, but we're gonna need to figure out how, how to line these people up. There we go, by, um, not alphabetical, by favorites, by color, by, can I go gender? Gender, there we go, gender, gender. Not entirely accurate with certain me's, but if I could just... That is Daydream! That is, oh, I was hoping that would actually switch characters. That's Burger, he looks like a burger. That's Bowtie now, I feel like I need to explain. Bowtie is related to Ty, he's up there. I know, because I just checked that. Um, Boog, that's Boog. I don't think I made that character, actually. Um, this is, um, some chick. I don't know, she's kinda hot. Uh, this is Daydream as well. What? Okay, there are two Daydreams. One's AJ and the other's Tasty. I'm confused. Um, this is Doubles. He's got two faces. He, she? I don't know, it's kind of both. That's Garden. She's a, he, he's a gardener. Isn't this the guy side? Oh, I split this by gender. Um, that's me, right there, Kit. Check out that smile, I'm pretty awesome. Um, there's Michael Jackson. Uh, this is Steven. He's right between the arrows. Just above the orient. Um, that's Palpatine. Check out Pac-Man. Oh, that's why. Okay, these names are the people who made them. If it's not Kit, Kit, or, um, one of my parents' names, that's Kit as well, Owl, he's, um, he's making fun of my dad's character who's named Who. Um, that's me right there. No, as well, is another character I liked. Two, he's, that's you in Spanish or something, if you want. Um, that's Ty, I, I like it because he looks like a professional. Shut up, he does in my mind. Vader, that was my attempt at making Darth Vader, it failed miserably. Weirdo, he's a weirdo. This is my dad's character, who... Um... So we've got Cool Baby, which is me making fun of my mom's character. Which I feel like we should have started over here. That's my mom's character. And Fane. Yeah, um... So the story with this character was I was a little horny one day, and... You know, horny ten-year-old or something. Shut up! I didn't have much of the internet right then. Uh, that's Girly. Um, there's Faith over there. Knew a girl who looked like that name's Faith. No, apparently my mom made that. Maybe I made it with her name. I don't know. It's, I swear, I knew a girl named Faith looked like that. I was thinking maybe I made that. Tree, that's a tree. There's a cloud. Shut up. Um, my head. That person's head is upside down. Um, we've been there. That's Fight. She's been in too many fights, clearly. That's Geek. I didn't make Geek? What the heck? I did not make Geek. I swear my mom made that character. Okay, things are all messed up. That's Girl. Daydream. By a... Okay, yeah, I borrowed that one because, um... She looks kind of like Kimiko. Shut up. Uh, that's Asia. Made by mom. That's kind of racist of her. And that's Alien. Made by mom. Oh, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Um, that's everyone? Well, let's do another quick thing really quickly. Sort by colors? Okay, those are sorted by colors. Yeah, but that's a rainbow. Okay, sort by favorites. Favorites on the left side, if you would. Is that how you sort by favorites? Our oh, favorites are in front. Okay, so yeah, these are my favorites. For the obvious reasons. Um, all of you go free. And as I will as well. Um, bye guys! For real this time. I feel quite sad to leave you, but these products do work. And I will be adding my sales pitch at the end of the video. So, I'd just like to say goodbye to the internet, and I'll see you in a moment, dear. Okay, guys, so. I'm going to Xbox sales again. Yeah. Okay, now. By the way, you will be getting this fully functional Wii guitar thing. 
Um, I even have its connector, so you can connect it to the Wii. It'd be pretty worthless without a connector. We apparently gave the drum set away at a garage sale without the connector. So, sucks if you bought that, mate. <laughs> Not bad. I didn't sell it to the garage sale, it was given to the garage sale by my mom. So yes, and you will not just be getting that whistle, so you will be getting Rock Band 2. Rock Band 2 is in here. No scratches, I don't think. I actually don't know, because I haven't touched my Wii games in a long time. Yeah, no scratches. Let me see if I can get that in light. No scratches. Um, also, here we go. You will not be getting any Wii controllers. You will not be getting any nunchucks. You will have to find them on your own. Sorry, but they fit into my Wii gun and stuff, and those go on my nerd shelf. Well, I'm sure you don't understand, but it's important to have a nerd shelf. I have the stand, comes in two pieces. Clicks in like that, and slides in. Maybe it clicks in if I can find it. There we go. Slides in, clicks in. Something like that. Wii comes in at this angle. Locks in, doesn't move. Got it? Good. There's apparently a sticker on it. You will not be getting a B sticker, because I'm throwing that out right now. Um, this is a sticker, by the way. It says 11.35 on the front of the Wii. You can remove that if you want. Um, also, Wii, pretty good condition, I'd say. I, I can't say that it's particularly bad. You've got two USB ports back there, both of them work. I went through and I checked all of this. You've got your connect port right there. Connect. No. What's the Wii's equivalent? The sensor bar? Sensor bar, there we go. Your sensor bar jack right there. That is your component cable jack. That is your power jack. Good. Good. Uh, intake. Outtake. Wow, the Wii. Well, that's why Wii's get hot, I guess. Intake and outtake. Okay, let's well, around. I checked this. Also, these are memory slots for GameCubes. So if you've got a GameCube, you can place it with your Wii. GameCube controller slots. Those all work. Or at least the first one does. Your reconnect button for your Wii remotes and your SD SD slot. I went through to take that. Why don't I just pop that back plate open? Eject. Um, this entire bar works fine. Bar, yes, bar. Disc player thing works fine. Discs go in, they slide in, they go in. Just like a disc auto reset button, power button. Glows yellow, red, and green, just like it should. Good. Now we're done with the actual hardware. So power brick. Power brick is here. It's still slightly warm. Um, power brick plugs in here, as with the Xbox, no um, ground wire. This plugs into your um, X, Wii, whatever. Wii. There we go. Component cables. You've got your standard yellow, white, red, right left video. Plugs into the Wii. These will all be nice and tucked away like they should be. This one's a little more organized. You've got your sensor bar. I'm going to retie that. But you've got your sensor bar. Plugs in just fine. Works all the way across. Still good. You will be getting these sleeves for Wii remotes, though, if you want them. Well, you might get them even if you don't want them, unless you specifically ask for not getting them. Wii remote sleeves, a little bumpy on the top. That way, if you drop your Wii, it'll break the impact. That's a spider. Um, I'm going to panic in just a second. And, um, I have a thing about spiders, and I need to go... Okay, it's moving. It's freaking moving. Hey guys, I just made that video. That video you just watched it's for my own reference. But, if you're at this point, you're probably looking to buy things, so we must start with the Xbox first. Now, if you buy the Xbox, you'll be getting the Kinect. This is in perfectly good shape. It works beautifully. Um, You've got a full length of cord, plug in there. Now, the Kinect also comes with this cable. You will need this cable in order to use my Xbox because this end plugs into the Xbox. This end is a connector for the Xbox because this 360 is not the second or third version, whatever was Kinect compatible. So you need this in order to activate that. You'll also be getting a variety of games that I did not enjoy. Look at the original Fear, I didn't enjoy it because it's old. No, I like Fear 2. Burnout Paradise, because, um, it's a car game. Usually I like my car games, but something about Burnout, I just, it, it doesn't feel me. Final Fantasy 13. It's a bloody long game. Not my type of thing. Cabela's Hunts. It didn't fit up to par with the Cabela's I remember on the Wii. Maybe it was something about using the Wii as a gun, I don't know. But 
Dead Rising 2. Just not my thing. Saints Row the original. I played Saints Row 2 and 3, so... This is definitely lacking in comparison to those. Still a good game. Assassin's Creed 3. Hated it. Assassin's Creed the original. Too much bloody flag hunting to get 100% on that. Now that we're done, let's get down to business. We have an Xbox 360. Now, yeah, look, we've got an HDMI port there. You're not getting an HDMI cable for me. You've got a component cable port right there. I have the component cable, I'll show you it works just fine. You've got a USB slot there, apparently, for the dirt there. I swear I just cleaned this out. Um, which brings me to another point. Your warranty is void on this. It's an older Xbox 360 warranty void. Now, standard faceplate to standard black all the way around. You've got a USB slot there, an Ethernet slot there if you want a wired connection. Um, I, I swear I'll check and make sure it still works after that. Um, you've got power in over here. Um, so you can see this, it's pretty clean too. Yeah, I have no scratches or nicks from hitting anything. Not even where I just hit it. Um, disc tray works, it just recently fixed that. Mine did stick, it's been fixed now though. Um, you've got memory card slots or something like that. Yeah, memory units, whatever those are. Um, power button, two USB slots down in that hole right there. Everything works perfectly. Hard drive, standard hard drive. As always, older hard drive memory is 120 gigabytes, so probably going to be about 116, because as you should know, it's never truly... It does take memory to do things now. Put that down there, there we go. You've got connect tuning card. Save this card and all of the other languages, no trash. This is the card you need to tune the connect. You can make your own though. Or well, you can lie to your connect. I think I think you can trick your connect. We'll be getting two wireless controllers. Um I can't really come up with a thing that's wrong with them or anything. Um they come with their double A holders, please. Is this one as well? Double A holder. Thing. While we're on the subject of those, I have wireless packs for you as well. This is a standard wireless pack. And there is also one that's shaped weirdly. This one's shaped weirdly. It's, it fits the other charger, I think. There's another type of charger that's not like this. It charges off the back of the cards. I think that's what this for, but don't take my word for it. Um, this works really fine. I've, I've got a sticker on it for you as well. These two lights glow red, so you've got eyes and a mouth. Not important. Have a sticker if you want. The sticker comes off really easily. In fact, it's already cut kind of off, so that might be gone. Let's take a step back. Component cables. This part goes in the Xbox. Yellow, red, or right and left, I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what makes the Xbox display good next now. Here we go, power cable. This button goes into the Xbox. This is your power brick. It's your AC adapter, usually built into PlayStations and whatnot. So if you're buying your first Xbox, um, this plugs into your power brick. This plugs into the wall. Too bad they don't come with ground wires. I don't know why. It would matter that it comes with them without. I don't know. Ground wires just feel normal. Here you've got your Wi Fi card. This plugs into a USB slot on the Xbox. Adjust the ears, you'll pick up Wi Fi. It's a hundred dollar card when I first bought it. Looking at the price of PC cards, that is really overtaxing. Bad job, Microsoft. Um, you know, last thing you will be receiving with the Xbox, an inner cooler, because Xboxes do get hot. And at least in my region of Southern California during the summer, my Xbox would overheat, so this helps suck the air out. Um, these, this this is basically what the Xbox fan is. Two fans that size. Not powerful enough. So this, these ones go at about twice the speed. Um, and there's a tiny one right there for sucking up a little bit extra. This is your power for that. Everything works fine. This will glow green if it works. It does work. Trust me on that. And that's the end of Xbox Salesman.